Welcome friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to read Bell is my babysitter. One day Mrs. Potts visited Bell in the castle library. I'm going to be busy in the kitchen all day, Mrs. Potts said. Uh, would you mind babysitting, Chip? I would be delighted, replied Bell. Mrs. Potts hopped over to whisper in Belle's ear. Thank you, dear. I'm afraid he's a bit grumpy today. Chip frowned. Today is field day for all the village kids, he said. I can't play because I am a teacup. I'm so sorry you are sad, Belle said. But I am sure there are still lots of fun things you can do. Cheap thought for a moment. Hmm. Well, I can blow bubbles, he said. Wanna see? He hopped out of the library and stopped near Cogsworth. He was supervising the castle staff as they cleaned the hallway. Fill me up, please, Chip said. Chip took a deep breath. He closed his eyes and blew. Mounds of bubbles started to flow all over his face. Well done! shouted Belle. Don't get the fresh wax wet! cried Cogsworth. Get outside with such silliness. Belle giggled <laughs> as she carried Chip to the patio. I can blow bubbles too, she told him. She tied the ends of the piece of string together. Then she dunked it into the bucket of soapy water. She stretched the string out and slowly blew an enormous bubble. Excited Chip hopped into the air and popped the bubble. Now there are two fun things you can do, Belle said. You can blow bubbles and pop them. Yay, but bubbles are not a field day event, he complained. That gave Belle an idea. A she would make a field tree for Chip and the other enchanted objects right there in the castle. The first event was sugar cube catching. Belle thought Chip and his siblings would do well. Teacups were used to having sugar cubes dropped into them. Let's have the spoons line up on one side of the table, Belle said. 
everyone else should go on to the other side facing the spoons at the count of 3 the spoons began to launch sugar cubes Cogs both got bobbed in the face a few times. Cups were more successful. They quickly hopped around, making some good catches. Before long, Chip was filled to the rim with sugar. Chip is the winner! Belle announced. Next, everyone went to the library. Belle had set up an obstacle course of books. Who wants to go first? Belle asked. Feather Duster had a good start, but got caught under a low bridge. Lumia tripped over a book and almost started a fire. Luckily, Chip raced over to extinguish the flames. Well, I guess we don't have a winner for the obstacle course, Well said. Ah, but we do have a winner for bravest boy, Lumia declared, beaming at Chip. The next event was riding footstool, who was as jumpy as a bucking bronco. It would be tough to stay on and cross the finish line. Cogsworth fell off after just a few seconds. The spoons fell off. Feather duster also fell off. Chip fell off too. They all had a lot of fun. Footstool was still full of energy. Try, Belle, Chip insisted. Belle sat down and enjoyed a wild ride. Mrs. Spots came outside to tell everyone to get ready to serve dinner. Dinner is ready. She was happy to see that Chief was no longer a grumpy teacup. Oh, you are a wonderful friend, she told Belle. And this was the best field day ever! Chip cheered. I hope you like this video. Thank you friends for watching this video. Bye-bye. See you.